Japan just delivered fully performing female robots. Rarely a week passes without a headline about a new type of robot coming out of Japan. Whether they're making an evening cocktail, performing at a restaurant, or combining cell phone communication with personal companionship, the hype is real in Japan. Let's get to know some of the latest Japanese technological advancements promising to reshape the way we live. Giant Robot to Fix Railways Japanese railway company, West Japan Rail, has designed a prototype VR controlled robot to clean and maintain railroad infrastructure deemed too high risk for humans to repair. Standing at 32 feet tall, the mammoth machine can reportedly lift objects up to 22 pounds in weight to a height of 33 feet. It is being constructed alongside the Nippon Signal Co. and the Human Machinery Co. to explore safety and productivity tools in the railway maintenance sector. While it may look as though the bot operates autonomously, it is controlled by engineers through VR headsets and remote controls. Similar to a VR game, these operators can control the robot's movements on their own and can even determine the weight of certain objects when picked up by the robot. Attached to both a crane arm and railway car, the robot has significant versatility and freedom of movement, allowing it to repair a host of railway infrastructures. Trials of the robot have been underway since April, and a final iteration of the model is anticipated to debut in 2024, before rolling out commercially. Kawasaki introduces latest robot technology. At an exhibition of industrial robots held in Tokyo, Kawasaki Heavy Industries attracted attention by developing a humanoid robot that works like humans outside factories. This is a humanoid robot that is supposed to work in a high-level space. Kawasaki Heavy Industries is the first manufacturer in Japan to produce industrial robots, licensed in 1968 from Unimation in the United States. It has a history of more than 50 years since then, and I am proud of the technological capability which is cultivated over a very long history," Seiji Amazawa, a representative of Kawasaki Heavy Industries said. We have Group Vision 2030, which is appealing for robotics technology in two areas, safety and security in remote societies, and mobility in the future. In the area of the safety and security of remote society, we are exhibiting the Hinotori, a Medicaid or a surgical support robot, Amazawa said. Throughout the development process, we are developing a robot that has the operability to satisfy the doctor's demand while receiving an opinion from various doctors. So far, it has already been used in about 150 surgeries. There is an inspection system that automates PCR testing in the corona pandemic with a robot, and the results can be received very quickly by automatically inspecting samples brought in by human work, Amazawa added. Kawasaki Heavy Industries is also developing a system that remotely controls factory robots. We will provide a platform with the concept that workers at a distant workplace are able to work by operating robots. This time, we are offering such an experiential demonstration where you can work at a distant place, such as by operating a robot from the living room of the home, to work robot in a factory," Amazawa further said. Yaskawa introduces new industrial robot. Japan's Yaskawa company has developed an industrial robot with artificial intelligence which determines the color and shape of the objects and transports them to their correct position. Yaskawa Company is evolving in various fields, including the automobile industry and parts manufacturing, according with the needs of the era. Yaskawa is promoting the solution concept iCube Mechatronics to realize a new industrial automation revolution. iCube means integrated, intelligent, innovative. At the Industrial Robot Expo held in Tokyo this March, a demonstration introducing Yaskawa's latest technology attracted attention. In the demonstration, robots with different roles work properly. Each robot has artificial intelligence and works independently. The instructor robot gives efficient instructions to each robot about work situation. The robots communicate with each other to work autonomously and more efficiently. Yaskawa Electric's technology has the mission to support global manufacturing industry continuously. Experimental Restaurant Staffed by Robots Japan's Kawasaki Heavy Industries has opened a restaurant staffed by robots. The operation will provide the company with data to improve robot development to help ease labor shortages. The restaurant is located in the Machinery Makers Research Facility near Haneda Airport in Tokyo and is equipped with seven robots. Customers place their orders by smartphone. Robots in the kitchen heat up packs of soup or curry and pour them into cups. They also use microwaves for rice. Other robots deliver meals to tables and serve them using two arms. They also collect empty plates. Payments and garbage are handled by human staff. 
Kawasaki Heavy aims to use customer feedback to improve the robot's service quality. It also plans to apply what it learns to resolving labor shortages in nursing care, as we mentioned earlier. Team behind the IKEA bot picks up $4.25 million. Remember the IKEA bot? The robot went viral for its ability to build IKEA furniture as well, or better, than humans can. The team behind the project went on to found Eureka Robotics, which announced recently that it has raised a pre-Series A round of $4.25 million, led by the University of Tokyo Edge Capital Partners, UTEC, one of Asia's largest deep tech investment firms, with participation from Vietnam's Touchstone Partners and returning investor ATEQ. Eureka Robotics products are based on research from Nanyang Technological University in Singapore and MIT. It focuses on robotic software and systems to automate tasks that require high accuracy and high agility. Its robots are used for precision handling, assembly, inspection, drilling, and other tasks. The Eureka controller's high accuracy calibration synchronizes the reference frames of the robot and camera with high accuracy, enabling sub-millimeter accuracy on vision-guided tasks, while force control gives the robot the ability to perform tight assembly and insertion, with clearance down to 50 micron. Meanwhile, its high agility involves computer vision that allows robots to recognize and locate randomly placed objects. Once the robot finds the position of an object, real-time motion planning helps it move toward it. An example of how the Eureka controller can be used is the Archimedes, which deployed technologies originally developed for the IKEA robot to a shop floor for the first time. It is capable of handling multiple sized lenses and mirrors and loading those delicate objects onto a tray in order to be coated. Eureka co-founder Dr. Pham Quang Kwong told TechCrunch that the Archimedes is currently operating in a factory in Singapore, serving a U.S. laser lens manufacturer, and that the company has received multiple follow-up orders of the robot. Transformers-inspired Japanese moon exploration robot Two robots with technology inspired by robots from the Transformers media franchise will be going on an exploration mission to the moon as early as 2022. The robots were developed jointly by Japanese toy maker Takara Tomy Limited and the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA, and are called Sora-Q. The Sora-Q is about the size and shape of a baseball, with a cross-hatched body. When it arrives on the moon, the body will split along its axis, each side becoming a wheel to propel the robot. Cameras attached to the front and back of the robot will take photos of the moon's surface to be sent back to Earth. It all began in 2015 when JAXA publicly sought ideas from companies for exploration robots, part of a program to start new projects with the private sector. Takara Tomy was one that responded. The unique form of the robot, which transforms from a sphere into a different shape to move, was proposed by Kenta Hashiba, a 37-year-old Takara Tomy employee who studied space engineering at graduate school. The transformation of transformers came to mind, he said. Making the robots spherical makes them compact and resistant to strong impacts. Small and light are desirable characteristics in an exploration robot, but the moon's surface is covered in fine sand that can bury and immobilize small wheels. It was extremely difficult to figure out how to make the robot run even on powdery sand, said Yosuke Yoneda, 61, a Takara Tomy veteran who took part in Sorakyu's development. To solve that problem, Yoneda and the other developers hit on using the body of the robot itself as its wheels. By shifting the wheel's rotation axis from the center of the body and moving the right and left wheels independently, the robot was able to travel with powerful dynamic strokes, as if it was swimming. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time!